Hello everybody! My name is Molly Driscoll and I'm an educator at the Orlando Museum of Art. Today I'm participating in hashtag museums from home to talk about a work of art by the artist Pat Steer. Steer is a New York based artist who rose to popularity beginning in the 1970s. For today's piece, I'm going to refrain from telling you the title just yet. I want you to first observe and come to your own conclusions about this piece. Now, let's take a look. As you can see, this piece consists of two colors, red and blue. The blue seems to be in the background while the red is in the foreground. Where does your eye go first when looking at this piece? I can say that my eye starts at the top center bit of red and follows the red vertical lines downwards. We can see that there is a greater emphasis at the bottom of the piece based on how the color red overtakes the base of the canvas. Throughout the entire piece, thick horizontal lines of red paint contribute to producing continuously thinning lines of vertical red paint. This is done at the top of the piece and over and over again at the bottom of the piece. Do you think this piece represents something? Or perhaps do you think this piece is not meant to be perceived as a noun, a person, place, or thing, but is instead meant to evoke an emotion from the viewer? All right, I'll now let you in on the title of this piece, which is Inner Lamo Waterfall. Some of you are probably smiling right now thinking, I thought that looked similar to a waterfall. Steer is perhaps best known for her abstract waterfall paintings, all of which are done in similar styles to this one. Three main things inspire her work, color field painting, abstract expressionism, and the Taoist philosophy. Let's take a moment and break down these things. First, color field painting is both an art movement and a style. The movement lasted from the late 1940s to the 1960s. Color field style of painting is when color takes up large fields of the canvas, so much so that the color itself becomes the focus of the piece rather than a specific subject. When looking at this piece, can you see how Steer wants you to take notice of the colors red and blue? Now, abstract expressionism is also both a movement and a style. The movement took place between the 1940s and 50s, and the style is characterized by gestural brushstrokes or mark making and the impression of spontaneity. Can you see this style when looking at this piece? It's helpful to know that Steer first created these waterfall pieces by climbing on top of a 10 foot ladder, pouring and throwing paint onto a canvas and then allowing gravity to take its course. About her process, she says, it's chance within limitations. This brings us to the Taoist philosophy, which comes from the Chinese tradition of Taoism. This philosophy focuses on living in harmony with nature and natural order and living under the universal laws of cause and effect in order to live a positive and peaceful life. We can see the presence of the Taoist philosophy when looking at this piece because of how Steer carefully pours the paint down the surface of the canvas until gravity and time take over. You see, Steer is not completely leaving this work up to chance. She chooses when to pour the paint, where to pour the paint, how much paint to pour, what colors to use, and where to add additional brush marks or splatters. She is demonstrating the Taoist philosophy of cause and effect. effect as well as humanity collaborating with nature to create a harmonious piece of art. Steer has been quoted saying, being more attached to the process than the conclusion is an incredible freedom. The last thing I'll mention is the size of this artwork. Now folks, this piece is very big. It is about nine and a half feet tall and seven feet wide. To really show you the scale of this piece, Here's a small boomerang video of myself waving a paintbrush in front of it. <laughs> Today, at age 79, Steer can, do, can no longer climb a 10-foot ladder to produce these works. However, that hasn't stopped her. She simply uses an automatic lift to carry her to the tops of her pieces. This should be an example to all of us to never let limitations get in our way. Reply, reply to this with your thoughts on the piece and be sure to follow the museum's social media accounts for more inspiration. 
In addition, if you'd like to make a contribution to the Orlando Museum of Art, you can text OMA to 71777 to donate to the museum through the United Arts of Central Florida Collaborative Campaign. Have a great day.